It's a beautiful sunset. You can see the sunset down here over my shoes. And so it's still a few days of summer left, about a week, uh, about just about seven days, about one week of summer left. Then it'll be the fall equinox. And so the sun's moving back towards the south. When it was at the summer solstice, back on June 21st, it was way up here, over setting over water, and that was the far, that's as far as the Earth tilts, so towards the sun, the northern hemisphere towards the sun, and so the sun is as far in the north in the north sky as it gets all year long. It's on the summer solstice, and now it'd be interesting to try and make a mark when it, when we're on the first day of fall, because that would be the fall equinox. And the ancient people did that. And modern people, we do it too, but we have the information so much in computers and written down and documented, people don't even think twice about it. But in the old days, when people lived in tribes and things like that. They had, and this is like when you, when you travel around and you see ancient ruins, certain things, they have markings that will line up with the summer solstice and the winter solstice and the fall equinox and the spring equinox and certain lunar events and celestial events they they marked all of those things and they they use physical objects like say where the sun is on a certain day they would line up two rocks or something like that and have it pointing in a certain direction and if there was something significant about that they would be able to know when that day was again. And of course they would be able to mark one year because they were aware that it was a cycle. So they knew what a year was because they would know when the sun was shining on a certain place at a certain point that they had had marked on the ground. And so that's, they were able to mark, mark a year like that. And they could also do it with the moons and they, didn't have television and all that stuff. They didn't have social media. They didn't have video games. So they paid a lot of attention to their surroundings and to their environment and to nature. It was very important for them to do that. They couldn't just pick up the telephone and look up the weather and when the sunset is and all those types of things. They had to, they had to actively document all that stuff for themselves and that's one of the things we do as a society as it grows is we we, we sparse out more jobs to more different to different people so that we all don't have to do each little job i love you